What? At least it's not super gory. Happy Spooktober, everyone. And with continuing the festivities, I am gonna be watching Final Destination. I have never seen any of the Final Destinations. I think that Final Destination just kind of revolves around a, a bunch of teens and they all just die in crazy ways. And I don't actually know why this is happening. So we're gonna watch the movie and we're gonna find out and uncover why is everyone dying in this movie. But before we get into the film, if you are not yet subscribed, you should totally subscribe in order to catch all of my latest videos. And if you happen to want to watch the full reactions and hear my full reviews of everything, my Patreon is down below in the description. So let's get on to Final Destination. So, 17, on the loose, seeing your trip with your friends in Paris, 10 days in the springtime. Live it up, Alex. You got your whole life ahead of you. Foreshadowing. No, he doesn't. Why do I feel like his dad has inflicted this curse upon him with those words? The white zone is for immediate loading and unloading of passengers only. I have to be on a plane eventually again. Don't do this to me. Hey, uh, Hitchcock. What? Let me give you a hand with this, man. I'm no, uh, yeah. there you go. Cardi it's him! Oh, good of course he's in this movie. Of course he's in this movie. It's an early 2000s young adult movie. Of course he's in it. Final Destination, France. Same as your birthday. When? September 25, 9.25. Your birthday is the same as your departure time. Oh no, everything is eerily kind of stacking up. Oh, this is not gonna be good. I have a gut feeling he- well, he's superstitious too. He's already said that. Interesting. Interesting camera angle. Have yet to see, see this one. When I went on my trip to Colorado, the night before, I had like really bad feelings about like plane crashes and stuff like that. I'm gonna fly again, but, like within a year. Don't do this to me. Yep, inclement weather. I called it. Tornado, probably because of the wind. I'm sorry I'm way down. He's not gonna die because oh. he's too big of an actor. He's somehow gonna survive. I literally can't. I can't. Could you trade seats with Blake so she and I could sit together? What's up, dude? Nope, he's getting- It's premonitions! She's gonna get off too. The ones that are gonna get off are gonna survive. Yep, yep, very good, very smart. No, no, you know the whole French thing, get on the plane, it's fine. Oh. I was in the bathroom and the lock, it was stuck and- Oh wait, I didn't fight with anyone! It's okay, because he could just take a later flight. Yeah. Called it. Main characters. I called he wouldn't die because he's too good at, he's too much of an actor. He's too big a part of this movie. The plane. It's gonna blow up. It's gonna blow up. And it's gonna blow up behind him. Martin. Okay. Todd. You. Dude, you're taking the get off. hospital. Get off him. Oh, shit. So he has premonitions and he can predict them. So maybe he's averting disasters throughout this whole movie. I guess, I guess the, I guess the trip to Paris is canceled. You look at me as if I caused this. I didn't cause this. He saved their lives. I didn't want you to say it. I didn't want to think it was going to happen. If that's the case, Alex, then why did you really get off the plane? <laughs> They're going to try to find a way to blame him. He did this. The dad's- the first oh. piece of <gasps> Long Island! I'm, uh, I'm from New York. Stop! Don't do this to me! Don't do this to me, please. So what is it that's trying to kill him? Do you think he's, sur he's suffering from survivor's guilt? Don't you ever f tell me what to do, alright? I control my life, not you! <sighs> Don't talk to me. 
to me. You scared the hell out of me. What the heck? He saved their lives, and he's treated like a freak. Because of you, I'm still alive. Thank you. Uh oh, it's the death wind. What's coming? <gasps> oh no. Is he gonna get swallowed by the toilet? Oh no, not. W oh, he's literally getting caught with his pants down. Okay, to say that is an obsession is is an understatement. <laughs> No, not my naked lady. It's one boob. <laughs> Todd. Is this like a death chemical or is it just water? Oh! <gasps> okay, I did not expect that. Oh my goodness. What, what are you, this is a joke, right? So it's a spirit, it's some kind of devil thing. That's doing it, that's trying to kill these people on purpose. What happened? Where's Todd? It caused Todd so much guilt over George staying on the plane. He took his own life. He wouldn't do that. Okay, so I guess that's like the FBI. Someone is just like looking into this kid and looking into a string of deaths. I've seen enough TV to know that the FBI doesn't investigate teen suicides. Not to mention that one of those people had a vision, or whatever, of the plane exploding minutes where it actually did explode is highly suspicious. And it doesn't help that the visionary's friend just committed suicide. I don't even know why, why, what they could possibly, what that could implicate at all. At that moment on the plane, I felt what you felt. I didn't even know where those emotions were coming from until you started freaking out. I didn't see what you saw. I felt it. I'm assuming one of her art pieces is gonna kill her. A sculpture is gonna kill her. What if Todd was just the first? You know what, I just wish I could see him again. One last time, so maybe I would know. Then let's go see him. You're sneaking, oh my gosh. You're sneaking into a morgue? Out of all places to sneak into. Yeah, that's him. Whatever it was that made him Todd is definitely gone. They really did give him a lot of makeup. Ah! Please. Wake the dead. You're not freaked out? You're not gonna call the cops on these kids? If he was pointing at the wire, he wasn't trying to kill himself. It was an accident. In death, there are no accidents and no escapes. He is so creepy. <laughs> oh my goodness. The airplanes that we ride or walk out of, it's all part of death's sadistic design leading to the grave. Okay, he was he was born to work at the morgue, apparently. Talks and riddles and everything. Gotta give them a quest. Alex, your friend's departure shows that death has a new design for all of you. I'll see you soon. Is he supposed to be the representation of death or like the speaker for death? Death is trying to track them down because they escaped it once. They're not meant to be alive right now. You can find death omens anywhere you want to. She's not wrong. We'll go nuts if you start with the shits. Someone's gonna get hit by a bus. We're moving on, Carter. And if you want to waste your life beating the shit out of Alex every time you see him, then you can just drop <gasps> him dead. She's so oh. 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 Why was that guy, like, not devastated about his girlfriend dying? A spark in the fuel switch in the coach cabin in the fuselage may have ignited the fuel line and proceeded to the fuel pump. I would have never thought of that. What? They're dying in the order they would have died. Death's death's design. <gasps> Miss Luton's next. Oh no. Just looking at my own front yard makes me feel nothing but fear. This is about her loot and I need Agent Shrek. Agent Shrek? Agent Shrek. Oh yes. What are you doing here? Let's check on the air and the tire to make sure it's safe. Get in the car. No. Can you come here and I'll just talk to you? She's gonna die while he's in custody with them. 100%. Okay, you don't gotta be rough. Come on, Shrek, what are you doing? So what about this pattern, Alex? Did you see it in another one of your visions? Did you catch it in some TV static? Why are they mocking him? They 
you guys can sit there in your little chairs and make fun of me. But I saved six lives on that plane. There is a pattern for us all. There is a pattern for you. There's a design for everyone. And I don't know how yet, but I'm going to break this one. The concept is really cool, but it's going to give me an existential crisis. Oh. <gasps> She's going to spill the water on the knives. Oh, oh, yeah, something with the knives and they're going to stab her. So something with the water spilling and the knives and she's going to get stabbed. There were a couple of moments there where I almost believed him. Can I tell you something? Don't take this the wrong way. But sometimes you give me the creeps. That guy's also going to go, isn't he? It's always water, huh? Polish vodka? Vodka. I'd see that symbol a mile away. Yeah, unplug that ASAP. But like, wear rubber gloves. <laughs> no, 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 it's gonna, something else is gonna fall and stop her. No, I can't. Maybe the- It looks like he killed her. It looks like he killed her. Call the police! Oh my goodness gracious, no! He was gonna go to prison. Why is this guy just riding his bike around the, the dead of night? <laughs> Why is he driving around in the dead of night? Why do you want us to meet you here anyway, huh? Because they're watching me. See if I go to Alex. Why would I want to see him? Because he knows which one of us is next. Oh, classic 2000s music choice. When I was a kid. You can't drive. How do you get out here? Seven. Do you run? I used to worry so much about my parents dying. Me I'm too. Awake at night just worrying. Me too. Most kids do, I guess. Okay, good. That's normal. <laughs> Did you know she was going to be next before she was? That's what the whole thing's about. Yes. Wait, who's next after? I'm going to go with the guy who's driving. Yeah, I did. Then the Billy, then then the Billy, then Billy, then the girl. It doesn't matter who's next because we're all on the same list. All of us. But you're going <sighs> to. But it's in different ways and you can work together to kind of try and avoid it. No, it is a really cool concept. What's happening with this movie, though? Me and Terry, we'll be back together on the other side. So why wait any longer? Carter, what are you doing? We're afraid to, Carter, but we're not a train. Nope, 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 nope. This isn't the way. This is how it's not the way. Get out of the car. It's Come on. Coming. It's coming. Come on, He's like not afraid. It ain't my time. What? Really? Because it sounds like it is. You need to get out. Get out. He's going to get stuck. He's going to get stuck. <laughs> get, get, uh, other side, other side, other side. I can't get out. <laughs> He saved him. You're next, Carter. I'm saying the go away from here. No, he's gonna get up, Billy. Yeah, that's gonna come up in like a What? At least it's not super gory. I have to see it. And if I see it, then I intervene. And if I intervene, I change the design. Safe? What intervene? What are you God now? Okay, he's sounding kind of crazy right now. This concept is insane. The fact that if you cheat death, death will still come for you is insane. I and the fact they're kind of executing it fairly well. No pun intended. God, it's so dark. He's gonna choke on it, isn't he? What is that mush? Okay, it wasn't the sausages then. He's making sure he's chewing everything. There's the breeze. Let's talk about how inefficient that door is if leaves are coming in from under it. I overlooked it. Try to 
lies, but I caught you. You f It's not going to be happy with that. If her mom doesn't want her anymore, that means her mom doesn't live with her, right? So how does she have a house? How does she have money to eat and stuff? Claire's next. So sh she's next. Oh no. And she doesn't even know how to face it. D why would you? No. Definitely don't go out there now. Oh. Okay, no. The dog has to be okay. Why would you leave the dog outside? She's gonna save her dog. No, you're not. You're trying to take him into custody. Yes. Yes, doggo. Doggo. Doggo, stop. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and the water with the electricity. Oh, no. That's what's gonna happen. I imagine a tree crushing it would be the death of him, but not the tree landing on him and drowning him in a puddle. She's gonna get caught in the window, isn't she? Wow. Oh my gosh, the whole house. <gasps> <gasps> oh no. Not the turpentine. She's gonna explode now. Why? Why? This is just bad luck, too. I can only hold on for so long, you know what to do. She's trying. When I do this, it'll skip you and it'll all be over. It's the only way we can cheat death again. Either she gets electrocuted or either she explodes. You get to choose. I think he's Oh, he- never mind, he's smoking. Okay, I- I- no. <gasps> Shit, not breathing. Hold on, Alex, come on. Stay with me. Okay, maybe he's not okay. He's the main character, he can't die. Of Paris. I can't believe it. You know, I just can't believe we got on a plane again. You know what I'm saying? All, why are all three of them in Paris now? I'm surprised they even went on the plane. Wow. It's weird being here, huh? We finally completed a puzzle. We beat it. Yeah, we won. I don't think they won because there's five Final Destination movies. Can we just stop talking about this? Uh -huh. Let's figure out what we're going to do. Oh, yeah. Okay. Stay away. Ah! She just saved him. I told you you were next. But it's going to swing back. You just skip me. So who's next? You! So it's never going to stop, is what it implies. Ever. So they have to live the rest of their lives going through that, trying to avoid death? So I just finished watching Final Destination for the first time, and I have to say that I love the concept behind Final Destination. The fact that death is going to consistently come for you until it gets you because, you know, you're not you're not supposed to be around. You're not supposed to be alive. I liked it a lot. I thought it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.